And now cabinet uh, allocation, uh, the possible formula is being discussed within the NDA. We're learning that the BJP will be keeping Rezina Hill Ministries, which are railways, law, IT, education and uh, TDP and JDU will be getting one full cabinet post plus two MOS posts. And uh, Shinde Sena and Chirag Paswan each will get one full cabinet plus one MOS. Uh, if you talk about the JDS and Janasena and also RS they will be getting one cabinet or independent charge MOS and HAM and Apna Dal will be getting one MOS. So these are the details that we're getting. CNN News 18, Saman Sharma is now joining us uh, with more on this. Aman, so the, uh, we were learning that TDP and JDU are demanding uh, three ministries. But uh, as per this information about the possible formula, uh, it is being said that they will be getting just one cabinet post. Uh, well, Anjali, see, a lot of formulas have been discussed. What we are hearing is that, of course, parties will have ambitions because here TDP has got 16 seats, the JDU has got uh, uh, 12 seats, Mr. Eknath Chinde has 7 seats, Mr. Chirag Paswan has 5 seats. There is no formal demand yet by any of the parties, but what we had learned yesterday that these parties are eyeing at least 3 to 4 spots in the Union Council of Ministers, both the TDP and the JDU. You know, ministries like agriculture are being eyed, rural development, uh, IT. But what we are hearing now from the, the BJP is very clear, what we are hearing from sources, it will be a very, uh, you know, exercise which will uh, which will be happy, make everyone happy, but it will be a reasonable exercise. You can't yield too much uh, to the allies because BJP remains the largest party with 240 seats. So what we are hearing is that we broke yesterday also my colleague Payal Mehta that the uh, Raisana Hill Ministries, you know, with the Home Finance, MEA, uh, external affairs mea finance and home these could remain with the bjp the bjp could retain that these top four ministries which are on the raisana hill also key ministries like railways uh, the law ministry the education ministry the it ministry could be with the bjp the bjp may not want to part away with them because these are very very key ministries also to the agenda of the modi 3.0 government the tdp and the jdu could get the discussions which are doing the power rounds of power corridors one full cabinet post each plus two MOSs each. So there could be three uh, posts in the Union uh, Council of Ministers which would go each to TDP and JDU. Uh, one full cabinet post, the TDP has held a full cabinet post last time in the government also till 2018. They had one full cabinet post, one MOS. So they could maybe get, instead of, instead of two last time, they could they may get three. Uh, the JDU last time, while uh, they fought with the end, uh, BJP in the last Lok Sabha election, had demanded four posts at that time, but they were not given. So they ultimately did not join the government. The talk is they may get three uh, posts this time. Mr. Eknath Shinde is very crucial. He could get one full cabinet, one OMS. Same with Chirag Paswan, who's won five out of five seats, one full cabinet, one OMS is likely. Uh, there's also talk of giving independent charge MOS posts to some of the key allies like JDS, Janasena, RLD. So they could get either a full cabinet or an independent charge MOS post. And the short, smaller parties which have one uh, MP each, Ham and Apnadal, could also be accommodated with one MOS post possibly. So these are the discussions during the rounds. Nothing is final yet, but these are the discussions in the power corridors and we will have to wait maybe till tomorrow to know exactly what exactly the formula is. But one thing is also very clear that TDP is a very, very key ally and it's, it's not insisting on special status, which is also a make or break demand when they quit the NDA in 2018. TDP is saying that adequate fund infusion should be ensured for Andhra Pradesh. And this is something that the BJP is also seem to be on the same page for. So maybe a day more, Abhi discussions are on today. Let's see what final shape uh, the Council of Ministers takes to uh, by uh, Sunday when the oath taking ceremony of the entire Council of Ministers is expected. All right, Aman, please stay with us. Arunima is also joining us on this story. Arunima, very good morning to you. So the NDA allies are all set to meet uh, today morning. What can be expected from this meeting? Yes, 9.30, JDU Parliamentary Party is meeting, same with uh, Chirag Paswan's uh, LJP Ramdalas. Uh, TDP is also meeting its uh, members of parliament to firm up uh, its uh, strategy before uh, that NDA Parliamentary Party meeting happens. Essentially, at these Parliamentary Party meets, uh, the leader of the Parliamentary Party is uh, elected and then uh, it is communicated to uh, the larger alliance. So, uh, JDU and Ramdalas uh, LJP, they are expected to elect a leader at the, the parliamentary party meeting and then together they will travel. The JDU meeting, for example, will happen at 6 Kamraj Lane, Nitish Kumar's uh, Delhi residence. So once uh, the parliament is over, uh, you know, once the parliamentary meeting is over, uh, they will, uh, you know, uh, ensure that, uh, you know, uh, they 
together move uh, to the Parliament Central Hall, uh, where the NDA Parliamentary Party meeting is expected. Uh, as far as cabinet portfolio discussion goes, uh, you know, we specifically asked a very senior leader of uh, JDU and a close confidant of Nitish Kumar, and he said that so far, BJP has not really reached out to them, asking them about uh, their, their demand. Uh, so officially, they are saying there's no reach out uh, that has happened. Uh, all that they are saying is that, you know, these are discussions that will be left to Mitish Kumar, uh, the party head in JDU, and to the Prime Minister. They're expecting that once the NDA Parliamentary Party meeting happens today and Prime Minister-elect uh, is elected uh, as the face of NDA, that formality is completed, I think then the formal negotiations about how many ministerial birth, who gets what, all of that will begin. So we're expecting those discussions to start post noon today, uh, once the formalization of the NDA phase, uh, you know, as Prime Minister Modi, the elect, Prime Minister elect is concerned, once that formality is completed, then the formal negotiations with Alliance partners is like. All right, Arunima, stay with us. So, Amin, coming back to you. So, we were also learning that Nitish Kumar is very much eyeing the railway ministry. But as per the latest information, the BJP will be keeping it with the, themselves. So, will that be fine with the JDU? There is no formality right now. It is all talk, speculation, which is doing the rounds. That Nitish Kumar, as such, the party uh, leaders are clearly saying they have not made any demands as specific as of now on what ministry they want. So there is no demand. The speculation is because JDU in the past, Nitish Kumar earlier has been the railways minister and generally uh, the Bihar politicians like to have the railways ministry. So in a way, there is no, same Same is with agriculture. You know, there are multiple uh, speculations that multiple allies want the same ministry, the agriculture ministry, the JDS wants it, maybe even the TDP wants it. So in a way, people are eyeing, people have wishes, but I think as Arunima was saying, the form discussions are still to begin. I think it will happen later uh, post afternoon today once the formality is over of the uh, NDS taking claim before the president and then the council of ministers will there will be some permutations combinations I'm sure uh, which will be drawn up but the BJP is very very clear that this is a very cohesive NDA alliance there is no dispute as of now and there is not expected to be any dispute the first meeting in fact which happened with PM Modi of all the allies was held in a very very good and constructive atmosphere and that is the spirit in which the NDA is expected to proceed because the larger idea is the development of the country the larger idea is to move towards the gains or build on the gains built in the first two terms of the Modi government so I think some and Mr. Rajanath Singh and Mr. J.P. Nadda are also expected to speak uh, to the key allies when it comes to these uh, portfolios and what, who gets what, like uh, speculations are doing the round. So we'll have to wait for that. But I think there is not expected to be much uh, jostling over these ministries uh, once the final, the final formula is derived at between discussions between uh, the top ministers of the Modi government and the top, uh, uh, the, the, the top chiefs of the various ally parties. All right, Aman, please stay with us. Arun Dhanta is also joining us on this story. Arun, the NDA allies will be meeting the president today to submit their letters of support. At what time can we expect that to happen? Well, see, Anjali, there is uh, no confirmation, official confirmation about uh, the timings. Uh, you know, when uh, the alliance uh, leaders along with Prime Minister Modi will be uh, going to president. Uh, but of course, uh, today there is this uh, all-important uh, NDA MPs meeting. And in fact, in this meeting, not only NDA MPs, we are told that the chief ministers of NDA-ruled uh, states and also the state chiefs of uh, the NDA, they all will be part of uh, this meeting, which will be taking place in the central hall of parliament. Uh, and then, of course, uh, once that meeting gets over, we'll get to know the timings, whether it happens today or tomorrow, there is no official confirmation about it that when this delegation will go to uh, to president. We are presuming perhaps it will happen uh, uh, today in the evening. But of course, before that, this uh, this all important meeting where uh, uh, Prime Minister Modi, of course, will be addressing the entire uh, uh, gathering. Uh, some of uh, the first timer. MPs who will be part of uh, this meeting and of course there will be uh, congratulations from the from both the sides uh, so I think uh, we'll have to wait for a while actually to find out when exactly the delegation is going to uh, w uh, to to meet uh, the president but one one thing is very clear of course all the allies who are part of the ND they've been saying that they are uh, hundred uh, percent with the BJP and they will in fact uh, move ahead with the Vixit Bharat uh, you know uh, policy of of the country. In fact, uh, two days back, if you remember when that uh, uh, NDA uh, leaders meeting happened at uh, Prime Minister Modi's residence,